Hi everybody. Hi, my little superheroes. I hope you've been enjoying our theme of the week. Let's dive in to some superhero writing. For today's lesson, you are going to need a piece of paper. You might want some coloring pencils to help you with your picture. You're going to need your um, phonics mat to help you find the sounds. And I think that's it. Brilliant. Bear with me then whilst I share my screen and you go and get the things that you need. Okie dokie, hopefully you can see me, hopefully you can see the screen. So, whew, after a whole half term holiday, I wonder if you've forgotten any sounds or if perhaps you can remember all of them. I'll tell you what, let's start off then just by going through the sounds one at a time in order. Pause the video then and see if you can name all of the sounds on your mat. And don't forget the other sounds. Don't forget these tricky ones. Pause the video and go through naming the sounds that you know. Have you done it? Awesome. I think we're ready to write them. For today's lesson, we are going to be using adjectives. Now, adjectives is a, just a posh way of some words. So we are going to design our very own superhero. And as we do it, we're going to think about some adjectives or some describing words that we could use to talk about them as we design our superhero. So think about how big they are, how strong they are, and that is thinking about the size. So you could be thinking about descriptive words to do with their size. Then you could have a think about what their superpowers are. So that's starting to think about descriptive words and adjectives linked to their behavior. I don't know why I'm pointing to my screen as if you can see what I'm pointing to. Let me move my mouse instead, that's probably more helpful. <laughs> so you can start to think about their superpowers. I don't think we really need to worry about amount unless your superhero has got eight legs. I don't know. Your superhero might have eight legs that help them to swim like an octopus. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you might want to think about how they feel. Maybe you have made a superhero that's made out of rocks. I think there's one of those in the Fantastic Four, isn't there? A rocky superhero that can smash things. So maybe you might want to have a think about that sound, what they sound like. Maybe you have a superhero that can shout really loudly and be heard from all over, I don't know. or colour or anything else that you can think of. So shall I show you mine so you can get a bit of an idea? I feel like mine wasn't really as ambitious as potentially it could have been now that I've thought about adding in extra legs and making them look all different. But anyway, <laughs> Here's the superhero that I have decided on. Now I have chosen this one because it looks like a little bit like Anna. So I am making Super Anna. And I think my Super Anna, well, she's very, very small. <laughs> she's very, very fast. What else can I think about her? She's very, very strong. And she's very, very sneaky. What I would like you to do is I would like you to pause the video in a moment as you create your own superhero. I'd love for you to draw them, think about an outfit for them, think about what they look like, draw their powers. And as you're doing it, can you try to name and say some adjectives to describe them? So my superhero is small. My superhero is fast. My superhero is strong. My superhero is sneaky. Definitely Super Anna, sneaky. So pause the video and have some drawing and talking time to get ready for our writing. Come back to me once you've finished. Have you done it? Wow, I can't wait to see your superhero designs. I wonder if any of you have been more ambitious than me. <laughs> I hope so. Now, for our sentence writing, we are going to be using the tricky words she or he. We've looked at those in phonics, but just to remind you about what they look like, here is the word she, 
sh, and then the letter E, making the E sound, she, and here is the word he, and there is the letter E, making the E sound, he, she, and he, and you're obviously going to pick the one that matches your superhero. So, are you ready to do some sentence writing to describe your superhero? Okay, so mine is a girl, Super Anna. She is quick. That's what I'm going to go with. She is quick. And when I'm writing sentences, I have to think it, say it, write it, check it. So I've thought about it, now I need to say it. She is quick. She is quick. Can you whisper it? Can you shout it? She is quick. Can you robot it? She is quick. I wonder if your superhero is quick too. Let's have a go at writing it. She is quick. What is the first word in my sentence? Well, it wasn't quick because that doesn't make sense on its own. She, she is quick. She is the first word and oh, I've left it on the screen so I can even magpie it, but actually I can remember how to spell that. Sh and then the E, letter E. She, finger space, is, 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 is. What's the next sound? Is, is, is. She is, finger space, don't smoosh those words together. She is quick, 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 quick. Oh, have we done the quick sound yet? I don't know. I'm going to have a look at my phone email and see if I can see the quick, 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 quick. Oh, and I actually can't see it because I'm covered, I'm covered, it's covered up on my screen, but hopefully it is there. <laughs> Can you see the qu for queen? And that qu sound is very tricky, isn't it? Because I know that I want to write, oh, I want to just write qu for quick, but I need to remember that the Q and the U stick together like glue. The Q and the U, they stick together like glue. So let's add in that U to turn it into a proper qu quick. Quick, 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 quick. Qu I quick. Hmm. Which K do I use at the end of words? Lots and lots. It's the double. See that one at the end of words, lots and lots, don't they? She is quick. Let me read my sentence back to check it makes sense. She is quick. Lovely. Oh, there's one thing I've forgotten. What do I need to put at the end of my sentence? A full stop. Let's chuck that in. There we go. Perfect. I've written my sentence. Now let's have a go together. Okay, let's have a go together. Let's have a go at writing. Well, she is strong. My super Anna definitely would have super strength because my goodness gracious me, that child, <laughs> she is pretty strong already. So if she was a superhero, she would definitely have super strength. She is strong. She is strong. Can you say it with me? She is strong. Can you shout it? Do you remember the sentence? Can you whisper it? She is strong. Can you robot it? Can you remember that sentence? Can you remember the first word in a sentence? Can you tell a grown up? What was it? It was she. I wonder if you can remember how to spell that. What's the first sound in that word? Write it down then. And can you remember what letter comes next? Write it down then. Let's have a look. It's the sh sound and then it's the letter E to turn it into the word she. 
don't forget your finger space. Lovely. She is strong. What's the next word in my sentence? She, did you say it? Mums and dads, did they say it? Is. Let's sound it out. Is, 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 is. Are you sounding it out? You're supposed to be doing this one with me. I hope you're joining in. Is. Let's do it again. Is, 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 is. Did you get it? What's the first sound in is? Can you write it down? And what's the last sound in the word is? Can you write it down? <sighs> Amazing. Let's see how you did. I, is, she is. She says, what's the last word in my sentence? She is smelly. Oh, no, not that. She is, can you remember? Strong, strong. Oh, I think there's something peculiar about that word, strong. Can anyone hear it at the start? Str oh my goodness, what sound is that? Ooh. Do you know what? That sounds like a consonant cluster. A consonant cluster that's really got lots of sounds all crashing together fast. So it makes it hard to pick each one apart. But don't worry, we just need to pause and rewind and go slowly. Ready? Str oh, slow it down a bit more. Str 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 oh, can you hear some of the sounds in that cluster now? Str do you think you could write some of them down? Go on, have a go. See if you can get at least the first sound in that cluster by yourself. Str. Can you hear any more sounds in that cluster? Str. Str. Pulling some funny faces, aren't I? Str. Str. Got it? So hard. Let's try the rest of the word now. Strong. Str. Oh, what's the next sound? Can you have a go at writing it down? Str. And the last sound. Ng. Mm. Mm. Go on, have a go. It's a really hard word. So many sounds in there. You know, if you wrote, if you heard the in that cluster and the ah oh in the middle and the g at the end. I would think that was a really good go at spelling that word. Mums and dads, I really would think that was a really good go because that is a really hard word using lots of skills. You've got digraphs in there, clusters in there. It's really difficult. So if your child got the initial sound in there and one or two other sounds, that is still really, really, really good. <laughs> okay, shall we break that word down and see some more of the sounds that belong in it? So that cluster, we slowed it down. Str, 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 str. And the sound in the middle was ah. Oh. And the sound at the end was ng, ng, ng. She is strong. My goodness gracious me, that was such tricky writing. Don't forget your full stop. Phew! And on that note, Mrs. Golding, I think maybe Mrs. Golding should take her tricky words and let you do some writing yourself now. <laughs> Definitely gave you some really tricky words today in your writing with me. But I've done a sentence, we've done a sentence, and now it's your turn. So I would love to see you writing one sentence by yourselves using that tricky word she or he to start you off. Do you think you can do that? I'd love to see your work. Don't forget to post a picture 
of your work onto Class Dojo so I can have a look at your superhero and find out what they are like by reading your sentences that contain adjectives to describe them. Okay, lovely. Can't wait to see and I'll see you soon. Well done everyone. Bye!